Okay, in this section here we're going to be factoring trinomials and tri means three so there'll be three terms in our expression and of course we always start out with an easy an easy example first x squared minus 9x plus 14 so what we're going to do here is We'll always start out like that, as long as this is an x squared. Now, we're looking for two numbers that when we multiply them together, we get a positive 14, and when we add these two numbers together, we get negative 9. So I'll help you out here on the first one. I'm going to put a 7 here and a 2 here. Now, 7 times 2 is 14, positive 14. But we need to get a negative 9 here. And if I were to add 7, 8, 9, but it needs to be negative, that need, that, in other words, that needs to be a minus, and that needs to be a minus, because negative 7 plus negative 2 is negative 9. Negative 7 times negative 2 is a positive 14. So that's factoring a trinomial. Now let's look at another example. Okay, what about um, x squared minus 9x plus 8? So two numbers that we multiply together gives us positive 8, but when we add them, we get negative 9. So I'm going to write a negative 8 here and a negative 1 or minus 1 okay so negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8 negative 8 adding that to the negative 1 here gives us minus 9 alright now you can always check your work by multiplying these two together x times x is x squared x times negative 1 negative 8 times x and negative 8 times negative 1 right? should give us this up here. Alright, what about we have x squared plus 4x plus 3. So we want to factor this of course, I'm always going to start with this right here. Two numbers are multiplied together. It gives us three, and when we add them, we get four. One thing you can look at here when things get more complicated, you can look at the factors of three, and the factors of three is just one and three. So the only thing we can possibly do here is like put a one here and a three here. One times three is three. We need to get a positive four. So this is easy. It's just a plus and a plus because 1 plus 3 is 4. <clears throat> All right, let's see if you can get this one. We have x squared plus 2x plus 1. So the only thing that goes into this 1 right here is 1. So we don't have much of a choice on this problem. And that is a 1 and a 1. Because 1 times 1 is 1. And when we add them, 1 plus 1 is 2. So this has been factored. Now this also can be rewritten like that. Okay.